Nina Nesbitt, welcome to my crib. My name is Nina Nesbitt and I'm currently on tour in North America uh, for my first official headline tour and uh, yeah I'm supporting my new album The Sun Will Come Up, The Seasons Will Change, touring that around and I'm living in this thing for a month so welcome. We don't really use the TV to be honest, um, I have used that sound system, um, I produce some of my own music so I work on it in my bunk and then when everyone's off the bus I plug it in and I like crank it loud and I can actually hear it because on tour there's no speakers in the dressing room or whatever so you're sort of limited to the headphones so it's quite handy. Um, it does have satellite TV but it's a bit shit. Um, sometimes the boys watch sports games but we're mainly on Netflix so. I just finished The Afterlife, uh, it's a new Ricky Gervais series and possibly the funniest thing ever. I was like crying and then laughing and crying. So good. Um, what else? Mm, yeah, it's probably the most recent one. Um, but yeah, this is a hat from a fan um, that gave me this because it's really cold outside. She gave me this in Washington DC. Um, and then here I have my lyric book and Spanish textbook. Currently learning Spanish why not? So I have that here, I haven't had much time yet. And uh, here's the fridge, what could be in here? Fully stocked, it was Ricky's birthday, the drummer's birthday the other day, so we have a birthday cake there. Um, we have some chocolates from a fan from Argentina, who brought me these Argentinian biscuits. We got a lot of food, we get a lot of cakes and biscuits. Bread, meat and cheese, it's like the standard rider of a European person. Um, so we get a lot of that, we get a lot of fruit, we get a lot of chocolate, and we just take the remaining rider and stop the fridge with it. I bought these, these are possibly the worst things. Oh, there's a Sharpie in the freezer. Um, <laughs> these are literally the worst things I've ever eaten in my entire life. Maybe not my entire life, but these are bad. I don't know if it's because I put them in the microwave, this is like our way of cooking. Terrible. Um, this is one of them there. We have, I'm basically in charge of all the food on this bus, so I like stock it. I got a little bit adventurous, and on the first day it was like, I'm doing healthy eating for the tour, which hasn't happened. So I went to Walmart, and I bought like a whole kitchen. So I've got like a hob, I've got pots and pans, yeah, I've got, got everything you'd need really in the kitchen, um, but it hasn't gone too well. I was cooking um, like the pasta with stuff in it, mushroom pasta from my friend, um, it was like boiling hot water. I went to sit down, it was like, this is a rough bus, it moves a lot, and it, the whole pot fell like boiling water all over the ground, splashing on my legs, mushroom everywhere. So. It hasn't really come out since, so yeah, just sticking to the microwave pizza. That is for my vocal steamer, so I have like this pot, kind of looks like a bong, everyone's like, oh, and I'm like, no, it's a vocal steamer. <laughs> um, so we boil water and then I put it in and it sort of just warms it up. Um, not really big tea and coffee drinkers, even though we're British. Um, yeah, it's more for like super noodles and stuff. This is some fan art that I've received. We receive quite a lot of artwork. People are very creatively talented. Um, so I have this one um, from Emily in Philadelphia. Uh, this one from a guy that actually made a comic book based on me and him. And he gave me this, which is pretty cool. I like to remind everyone of this princess. So I just sort of leave this here when the bus is stationary. Um, this is my cupboard. So this is like ooh, personal items. So far we have body lotion. But usually I keep like my toothbrush, boring toiletries in here. Um, these are other people's. I don't want to know what's in them so I'm not going to open them. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it really. This is like a multi-purpose station, so we had 
one of the support acts managers sat here and did his, this was like his office, he's gone now. So my tour manager will sit here or the photographers will sit and edit the photos. Um, I kind of dump my bags there as well because my bunk's here so it's kind of quite an easy thing. Um, but yeah this is pretty much where I stay throughout the day. All of this is from Walmart. So I've been to a lot of Walmarts, um, got this on the first day, it did the job, it just wasn't quite the luxury that I was after. <laughs> so then I got this, um, sort of rug thing, that's what I sleep on. Basically what I wanted to do was create a giant dog bed, but for me, so I got this yesterday, it's basically like, I think it might be for pregnant women. Um, to sort of find comfort in the later stages of pregnancy but I just bought it for myself and that's where I sit and I put my elbows up there, chill out in the studio um, yeah, so that's like daytime and that's night time and what I like about this bunk is that at night when everyone's sitting here I can just open this up like that and be part of it from the luxury <laughs> of my bunk. <laughs> so yeah. I was actually here on the first night. I didn't sleep like f for even half an hour. It was so awful. It was, it was so rough and I was just panicked that I was gonna fall out. Um, so yeah, I've, I've moved here. I think this is actually meant to be a sofa but this is where I'm sleeping. This is the bathroom. It's pretty gross. Um, does the job. Uh, not allowed to do anything other than pee in the toilet. So no toilet paper. The toilet paper has to go in a bin bag. Um, you're not allowed to do any shits on the bus. So if anyone's got any issues we have to stop. So it can get a little bit awkward. In here, this is the shower and where we brush our teeth. It always smells of egg due to the drains. I haven't actually showered on here at all, but I'm trying to avoid it. It's just, it's got a small tank, so it's kind of like in and out. Um, this, is, this is it. I brush my teeth in the menu because I wear a retainer and I'm like really paranoid about germs and stuff. <laughs> so I brush my teeth before I get on the bus and then that means that I can't binge eat when I get on the bus. Little fun fact for you there. Thanks for watching uh, my bus tour. I'm Nina Nesbitt and I have a new album out called The Sun Will Come Up, The Seasons Will Change. You can check that out or you can find me on any social media website. I'm there like a virus. Um, and I will no doubt be touring in a city near you soon.